Well, good morning, y'all, and welcome back to the channel. This morning, I am in a cypress swamp. Not a huge swamp, nothing like what they have down in Louisiana, but we're just off the Natchez Trace Parkway, which is a scenic road that goes from Natchez, Mississippi, all the way to, I think it's Nashville, uh, Tennessee. We're just off the road, you can hear all the cars. That's the only negative part about this place. Looks like you're deep in the woods, but in reality, the road is just about 100 yards that way, so. Uh, I haven't been here in years. I, when I first started photography, I would come here probably every other weekend because it was, it was not that far from my home and I just love cypress trees. So it was like an easy thing for me to just drive here and get out, walk around, take some pictures. But I haven't been here in years and this place has changed a little bit since I was here last. The water is really low. Um, sorry about the car noise. I hope, hope that's not too loud on the mic. And we just had a truck pull up. So I'm sure they're going to get out. And if they do, I'm going to kill the video. And we'll, I'll catch you, catch you later on down the trail. We'll talk some more. But we're just going to go walk around the trail and see what we can see this morning. Well, we've walked about a couple hundred yards since I last spoke with you. Had a guy get out of his truck who was just doing some walking this morning. Um, so I didn't want to film right there in front of him. So I just started walking down the path and just looking, looking to see what I could find. So I covered myself with, with bug spray this morning, but the, and the mosquitoes, they are relentless even with spray on i haven't gotten bit but they are swarming me so <clears throat> it's 
driving me insane. This place has grown up a lot since I was here last. I used to be able to walk just there at the edge of that, of the water right there. And you could see a pretty good ways um, out through the, the water. Used to be lily pads and wild, you could sit here and watch the wildlife. But now it's just grass has done grown up so much. Can't even see anything anymore. So my plan is, since this area is kind of popular and there's a lot of people that travel, that, that pull over and see it and walk this little nature trail, filming may be a problem. But I, what I'm gonna do is just walk the trail and see if I can find anything that you know looks interesting worth photographing and if i do i'll bring you back may not be a whole lot of talking uh but i don't plan on stopping here i plan on going a few other places this morning as well so if we don't get a lot of photography done here well maybe the next place we'll have more luck with so we'll see bring you back in a minute This is going to have to be a quick one because you sit too if you sit too still for too long in these in this area you will get absolutely eaten alive by mosquitoes. So what I've done, I took one with a sunstar. I'm not sure if I'm going to like that one, so I took another one. I brought my tripod lower. I got my camera lower because there's a lot of dead trees and limbs and branches and stuff down just past this green all these thorns and stuff there's a bunch of dead stuff i don't really want to include that in the photo so i just got down low enough where these the green of these leaves could kind of block all that at least you know for the most part and uh i've set my aperture my iso's on 100 uh, I set my aperture to 6.3 and I've just focused on that cypress tree that's dead in the center of the frame and if everything on the if the trees on the side are not in focus I don't really care I just want that center part of the the composition the center part of the frame to be in focus and that gave me one tenth of a second so take another one just in case but nothing too crazy nothing nothing great but it's a I think it's a good one to start the morning off with
I think as photographers, we probably all have been driving down a country road and saw that one tree or that one just whatever that was just you had to pull over to take it. It was just beautiful. Well, I've kind of come across that this morning. I just, something told me, it was like I was driving down the Natchez Trace and I saw this little country road to the left. Oh, my hair is ugly. And I just, something told me to take it. So I was like, let's, let's go see if we can find anything, you know, off the beaten path. Well, I didn't drive. I mean, I can see the stop sign from here. I didn't drive no piece down the road. And there's this tree. I'm not going to name the tree because I don't know what it kind of is, but it's beautiful. It's being backlit right now. And there's just this one tree and the leaves are backlit and then there's still mosquitoes here sorry and then there's pine trees little small planted pine trees that are just staggered behind it and i think it personally i think it makes a really cool photo uh but the the sun makes it because the, the leaves are backlit without that it wouldn't be an interesting shot at all but i'll turn you around what's ah uh, these mosquitoes what's uh what's making this extremely difficult though is the road let me turn you around you can see the road i mean is right off the side of this tree and i'm having to i would i was going to get my 100 to 500 back up and zoom way in to kind of cut that corner out but when you do that you do you don't get this branch here that kind of overhangs and that's i want to get that in the shot and i want to get as much of that this branch right here in the shot as well so anyway it's uh it's, a, it's kind of it's a challenge to get this shot but i had to get it because i could just tell with it being backlit like it was i mean look you can get out of my shot you can kind of see from the back of my camera that's a that's kind of a cool shot so that's the shot i took earlier but i'm gonna take another one and I'm not sure if you can tell. Let me zoom in. Yeah, just if I zoom in on my shot and go way down the bottom corner, you can see just a little snip of the little snip there of the road. And if I can't get the road out of the shot and still include all oh, these mosquitoes and still include as the tr parts of the tree that I want, I'm going to have to crop that part of the road out because I'm not going to pass this shot up just because there's a, you know, few inches of road in the shot i'm just gonna crop it out but this is an awesome shot it's a uh, i haven't even spun my polarizer i don't know if it's engaged or not i think it's been on here since my last video but i don't need it really it's as much as it's being backlit right now very nice take a few shots here But anyway, yeah, saw it on the side of the road, had to stop and take it. So I'll uh, get this one in the can and we'll head on back around to the Natchez Trace and go see what else we can find. This is going to be kind of a scattered video because the mosquitoes were so bad and the trail was so bad and short at the Cypress Swamp that I couldn't make a whole video there. So we're going to be just driving down some back roads and seeing what we can find on this uh, on this video. So. Let's go. spot <clears throat> this is a tree that i have photographed multiple times and one i even attempted i attempted it once to uh to get a milky way behind it and it didn't work out too good mainly because i was new to photography and inexperienced but uh anyway 
So what I've got is a lone tree and this tree is, it kind of, it's, it, its trunk comes up and it splits off in two and kind of has this twisty motion to it. And you can see it better from the other side of the tree. But from this side, I'm shooting it from this side of the tree. It's in a field, but I'm shooting it from this side because behind the tree, there's a wall of pine trees. So it had, adds that contrast to it. You got the dark greens of the pine needles and then the the tree right now is bare it has no leaves on it actually i don't think it ever has leaves on it i don't know why i think it's dead but it's a cool tree my plan is to turn it to a black and white and i have it set up right now as a square crop i put my big lens on but what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the shot i've got it at iso 100 5.6 and that's roughly giving me 250th of a second. I'm gonna take the shot now just because the sun is out. My plan, like I said, is turn this into a black and white. And with the sun hitting it so bright like it is, if I turn it to a black and white, it should really pop. Especially with the dark greens of those pine trees in the background. Uh, I'm gonna take one like this and then I'm gonna take another kind of zoom back out just a little bit in case I don't want to change it to a black and white, then I'll have that sky in the background if I want to use that in the photo. I, I don't think I will, but so I've got that shot. Let me go ahead and make sure it's sharp before I go off taking something else. Eh, I'm not sure if that is sharp. Always check your photos, people. You think you have it sharp and you go back and look and if you don't do it before you leave and you can't go back take the shot you'll you'll sit at home and you'll be you won't be very happy because your shot is not sharp tell you what i'm going to do i'm going to manually focus this just to ensure and what i like to do is turn my stabilizer on even though it's on the tripod i turn my stabilizer on when I'm manually focusing, that's the way the lens ain't sitting there doing this and it's shaking while I'm trying to focus manually. And once I get it in focus, I'll turn the stabilizer off. So just a little tip, that's what I do. It may, maybe not, may not be for everybody, but it works for me. So, and I'm thinking, I'm thinking the reason it may not be sharp or as sharp as I like it to be is because it's got this we got this strong haze. I'm shooting. That's probably 200 yards. And I'll turn you around in just a second. You can see it. That's probably a 200 yard shot from where I'm standing. So that may be the reason all the haze in the atmosphere. Maybe the reason it is not coming out as sharp as I'd like it to be. Okay, That's a, that looks a little better. So, all right, I got the three shots. I'll turn you around, kind of show you what I'm talking about, and then I'll tell you, show you the shot. If you can see it, I cannot zoom on this camera, but there's the tree, it's this field, and the tree is way out in the distance, right there. And the wind is starting to pick up, so I'm going to have to probably get my little funky rat looking thing on top of this microphone to keep the wind noise down, so. There's a shot. If I like it, I'm sure I will. I'll pop it on the screen for you now. So we have a bit of a unexpected little treat. A nice little surprise. <clears throat> they have planted, again, I'm right by the highway, so if you hear cars, I'm sorry. They have planted cotton all along the sides of the Natchez Trace. <clears throat> there is about
there's about a two mile stretch where it's on either side of the, of the road and I'm just trying to it took me it took me oh these cars <clears throat> it took me about I don't know probably 30 minutes to actually find a shot that I would like where there's some trees mixed in with a cotton so whew, I don't know if y'all can see it I am sweating it is getting warm I'm ready for this for the clouds to cover up that sun I'm just taking shots right now while the sun is out because it's lighting it's putting a nice little glow on the leaves and once it goes once that once it goes behind that cloud I'm not really sure how much light will be on all the cotton and the leaves of the tree itself but anyway I've shot a few different compositions with this one tree and I'm going to get down here and get just a little bit lower and get one more shot. The only problem, I'm, what I'm trying to avoid is the road goes just past, just to my left and it curves back around. So if I get too far this way, you'll be able to see the road, possibly see the road in the background. But if I get too far this way to get rid of the road, the tree is not exactly where I want it to be. So it's kind of complicated, but... Um, I'm going to take a few shots and then I'll show you uh, show you what I can see. And then of course, as always, I'll put some pictures on the screen for you. But I'm going to take a few more here and then move around a little bit and then see which one I like the best. Mm -hmm. 